up everybody welcome to your 13th C++ tutorial in this tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do a while loop now what a while loop is <coughs> excuse me got whooping cough what a while loop is is pretty much a for loop without all the beginning variables in it uh, it pretty much is a naked for loop it pretty much just has a test condition in the body so the first thing that I, uh, we're going to want to do is declare a variable. Just make it a basic integer variable and set it equal to uh, whatever you like. I'm going to set mine equal to 1. And the next thing you want to do after you declare a variable is start actually making the loop. Now unlike 4, the syntax for this is while. And what this is pretty much going to do is you're going to have a test condition in the parentheses and it's going to be something like um, when x is less or equal to 10 <coughs> and then this thing in the parentheses is called the test condition so it's going to run whenever x is less than or equal to 10 so now that you told it when to run you got to tell it what to do so it says alright when x is less than or equal to 1 add your semicolons what do we want you to do we can make you do anything we want so let's uh, make you output on the screen there we go see out um that's right hey there Bessie so we want you to output hey there Bessie and then let's just end the line and now unlike the for loop you don't automatically um, increment up here so right now we have alright integer x is equal to 1 and if we just keep running this and running this it's going to be equal to 1 the whole time and it's always going to be less than or equal to 10 so this is going to be infinite loop and it's going to keep running and running so since we don't want that we want to change x so we say alright after you're done uh, running this we want you to make x equal to x plus 1 and what this is going to do is allow you to um, increment x by 1 each time so it doesn't just keep running and running. And I'll show you guys what this does later. But uh, again, to recap, you have your syntax for your while loop. This is called your test condition right here. And th this in the semicolons, this is called the body. The body is pretty much the instructions for your loop or what you want it to do. So enough talk, let's see this baby in action. Execute, compile, and run. Hopefully I don't got any errors. And hopefully if everything goes right, it should say, Hey there, Bessie, ten times. So again, it says, Hey there, Bessie, hey there, Bessie, yada, yada, yada. And again, like the for loop, I'll show you guys by plugging X in the variable instead of a string. When you execute, compile, and run, <coughs> right now in this case it outputs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and this again is because we changed the variable and incremented it by 1 each time instead of just um keeping it 1 so um the difference between while loop is while loop and a for loop is pretty much that um it's pretty much just stripped of all this at the beginning and you increment it in your body instead of your test condition so that is the difference between a while loop and a for loop and another thing I wanted to note if this is false at the beginning for example if your um, variable was 11 then anything in the body isn't even gonna run at all so in order to this to run it all, this test condition needs to be true. If it's false, your body isn't going to run it all. But I'm sure you guys could figure that out. So um, those are pretty much the syntax and the basics to a while loop. Uh, I hope you learned something. Study this. Practice making a while loop. And once you did, you can move on to my next tutorial. So thanks for watching. Bye.